Man springs into action to try and catch a group of people he sees trying to get into cars on his surveillance system. That happened in the 6900 block of General Haig Street. He nearly gets shot in the process, and it would all end with a police chase and a crash. Jacqueline Quinn joins us live near where that crash happened. And Jacqueline, what's the latest in this case? Well, this is where the crash ended uh, and where the chase ended, excuse me, and where the crash happened. You can still see some of the debris out here, the glass in the street. Two of the suspects actually tried to get out and hide by the NOPD stables. But by the end of the story, you may be surprised to find out that more people weren't seriously injured or even killed. It was around 2.40 this morning when noise from Gino Ascani's camera system alerted his fiance to wake him up. For whatever reason, my fiance was awake and um, heard the, the clicking noise. I guess she was on her phone and she looked up and saw him in the driveway. Ascani told his fiance to call 911 and then he changed and grabbed a gun to follow the suspects he saw on camera. He was able to sneak up on four of them as they walked down General Haig near Walker. And I wanted to follow them to make sure that they weren't going to victimize anyone else. And I was waiting for the police. When I felt that they were getting ready to flee, that's when I yelled freeze and that's when they ran. As they took off, police say Kilton Lowry shoots twice at Ascani but misses. Ascani says he did not return fire to avoid hitting the wrong person. He then says the suspects disappear towards Robert E. Lee. Shortly after, officers responding to the call see a car speeding off near General Haig. I apparently observed the officers responding attempted to flee from the area rather quickly and flipped their vehicle. That happened on Harrison Avenue near NOPD's horse stables. Travelique Lewis and Lowry were able to get out and hide. Officers later found them near some of the trailers. Police find Kiana Neville and Ariel Temple walking on Marconi. They are picked up and identified as women seen pulling on car doors. Police say Lowry has committed multiple crimes in the 3rd District, but they advise citizens not to put themselves in harm's way to catch anyone. But Ascani says he thought of other incidents in the past and took action. I just, I can't sit back in my house and just wait for the, the police response times. Now, Kilton Lowry, the shooter, was booked with counts of assault, illegal possession of a firearm, and along with burglary, the three other women are facing counts of burglary. And that's the latest in Lakeview. Jacqueline Quinn, Eyewitness News.